So here in Columbus, Georgia, back in 1915, there was a horrible train wreck and they have a grave here that kind of memorializes what happened and I want to share with you guys I want to share with you guys that today. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products, places, and roadside attractions that I stop at. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So this particular roadside attraction is called a mass grave of circus train wreck victims. Back in 1915, the C-O-N, that's not Colonel, but Con T. Kenny Carnival train uh, was hit head on with a passenger train that wasn't supposed to be there. And that train, which is memorialized right here by the tent uh, for, the, the, for the train and the circus, was, uh, was a wooden train. And apparently, like, the passenger train just smashed into it and the engine kind of incinerated everything that was in the train because it said in the article that it's a wooden train that these uh, circus trains are. And so, uh, down here on the bottom, it says the employees of the Con T. Kennedy shows that were killed in the wreck November 22nd of 1915. They do have this marker number 20 right here. I don't know why this is here. They say that um, there was uh, kind of a, they weren't too sure how many people were uh, killed in the wreck. But uh, the news reported uh, 24, but later accounts put it at 15. So they're, they're not really too sure. They said that all of the tra animals uh, perished. The train obviously didn't make it. And some of the people were, were uh, killed here. They're not too sure, like I said, exactly how many. Erected by the Con T. Kennedy shows in memory of their comrades who lost their lives in a railroad wreck near Columbus, Georgia. In fact, it was 6.5 miles uh, from Columbus, Georgia, east. So uh, this was, like I said, November 22nd, 1915. And this is a in memorandum here. And this is created in 1916 by Elidige and Norman Monument Company, uh, Edward Wise Allen Foreman. I'm assuming that's the name of the guy who created this right here. Um, this has perpetual care sign here. I'm not too sure exactly what that means. Maybe that somebody will continually care for this because it was in memorandum of the, uh, the circus uh, uh, people that uh, passed away in that train wreck. On the back here, it's actually a really cool grave, and I didn't read the full thing, but it does say bring a coin, and you can place your coins on top of the circus tent here. I don't know what the what the whole thing with that is, but I just thought it was kind of an interesting thing. Uh, looks like people leave a bunch of pennies and quarters and nickels and dimes, and it says, we'll not forget thee. We who stay to work a little longer here, thy name, thy faith, Thy love shall be on memory's tablet, bright and clear. And when o'er, o'er wearied by the toil of life, our heavy limbs shall be, we'll come and one by one lie down upon dear Mother Earth with thee. That's what's all written on the back there. Beautiful little saying. Again, in memorandum here on the side. Now, they're not too sure uh, exactly what they've placed in this grave uh, because everything was just kind of all all put together. You know, you have the ashes of the train, you have the ashes of all of the animals, and then you have the ashes of those that actually passed away here. And I think what they think happened is that somebody just kind of, you know, shoveled up all the ashes together and place them here so that they could create this this particular grave for this uh, this train wreck. It's pretty crazy uh, what happened here, and it's pretty crazy. I never thought about how like if a train is not going the correct way that it's supposed to be going, that the potential of it to actually hit another train is pretty high because that's basically what happened here. Since that passenger train wasn't supposed to be um, wasn't supposed to be here. really really kind of macabre 
uh, roadside attraction here, but it is, uh, I think it's important to remember these types of things, you know, uh, the history of what happens here in the United States, especially from, I mean, this was over a hundred years old, and look at how great this grave has really uh, tested the test of time. It looks really nice, and they're doing a really good job of really uh, keeping it looking good, so that is fantastic. Um, I, if you guys know what the heck this this 20 thing is, I'd really like to know down in the comments below. I guess that is one of the ways that you can figure out where this particular grave is if you want to find it. But uh, there is an entryway to the cemetery at the corner here. I, I don't know exactly what street it is, but it was off of 10th Avenue, 10th Avenue and something. And you immediately, you can go straight that way or you can take a quick right take the uh, I'm sorry a quick left uh, right and then you take an immediate left and then you come down this road here and then you'll easily see because this one stands it's about three feet tall but it's higher than all of the other graves in here actually it reminds me a lot of the graves that are in New Orleans because in New Orleans you have all the graves that are above ground because New Orleans is below sea level so um, so the graves would just get flooded out. So it's, it's kind of interesting that uh, you can recognize this one pretty easily because all the other ones are pretty much flat around it besides a couple of these monument style right there. But uh, I did not have trouble finding it once I came in through that entrance right there, but I did have to circle around the entire grave uh, cemetery area to be able to find that entrance because I don't know if y'all can tell way back there, those are all graves all the way back there. This is a huge cemetery cemetery here and so um, it's it's good to know where you're going so that you can actually find uh, this particular grave but I uh, just wanted to share that with you guys but if you guys want to see the grave of the guy who invented the recipe for coca-cola that is here in Columbus Georgia as well and I'm gonna put that right there on the screen you guys go click that video see what I found at that grave site Click that. I'll see y'all in that video. Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is appreciated and dad out.